Hi everybody, this is Gleb Alexandrov, and in this tutorial we're gonna talk about how to focus on flat shapes instead of 3D objects when you set up lighting. Okay, usually when we talk about lighting, we talk about how it reveals the shape of the object. And also, if it's physically based rendering, we usually talk about how it interacts with an object's material. And this is completely fine. This is our strength of a 3D artist, the ability to simulate the material and light interaction. But think for a moment, what if we just change our focus from 3D round shapes to look at flat shapes? You know, in terms of composition, it's a very, very productive decision to do so. So let's tune our vision to see the flat shapes. And to demonstrate it on example, I've created this hangar. And you can see how light doesn't touch the foreground, it is completely black. And the flying machines look almost like an ink blot. And that means they have a good readability. While we have practically no light spilling onto these objects, we still can see that the composition works well. Because we have everything to do good composition. We have a contrast, we have a separation of the planes, and we have a motion. So the next time you create the artwork, try to focus on shapes. That was my five cents, and Renanta agrees with me. He thinks that artists should start with the basic shapes and forms in 2D and move to the more complex and in-depth world of 3D. Also, Sage Light says, after layering a few silhouettes, if the overall composition still speaks, then it works. Indeed, I agree 100% with it. All right, we can extend our shapes technique a bit. For example, this picture contains only two main layers, the very dark foreground and light background. And by the way, have you played Limbo? This game's visuals contain so much depth, then you can feel the 3D space, even if we have just a series of 2D planes. And this is so interesting, how can you recreate the third dimension without the material and light interaction. All right, and the next thing I want to talk about is a KISS rule. Keep it simple, stupid. Or keep it short and simple. In other words, if you can get away with a black foreground, absolutely go ahead with it. Here you can see me just tweaking one value of the environment light strength. And ta-da, we almost have our render finished. So here I want to say that the ability to see the simple shapes is far more valuable than the ability to build a complex stack of crap. Alright, and as a bonus I will show you how to simulate a nuclear explosion using the exposure value. Look. Here it is. I really hope you liked this tutorial, my name is Gleb Alexarov, and feel free to ask any question using the hashtag OpenLightBook. Also, if you want to promote this project, go ahead and share it on Twitter. Or maybe if you have Facebook, share it on Facebook. Thank you so much. Goodbye.